Hi all, welcome again on my channel. Today we will see next topic in this video series that is stock transfer order without delivery or without LE in SAP MM. LE means logistic execution. So we'll start that video but before that if you are new on my channel please subscribe to my channel and also share this video with your friends and colleagues. Thank you. So we will we have already covered what is stock transfer in previous video and where we have covered all these stock transfer stock to stock material to material and we have covered in other videos consignment to warehouse or subcontracting stock so we have covered this part stock transfer also we have covered some physical movement of stock transfer that is storage location to storage location and partially one part of stock transfer order with plant to plant with one or two step movement that we have covered today we will focus on sto part and in that we will cover first part plant to plant stock transfer using sto but without delivery or without logistic execution involved in it so we will see all detailed types of stock transfer order i will not cover that what is stock transfer and all that because that we have covered in last video so stock transfer order types so i this video only relevant to stock transfer using sto so that's why i'm covering only sto so in this part we have already seen via mm stock posting with one step two step storage location to storage location or plant to plant today we will focus on sto that is stock transfer order in that we have three types one is without daily stock transfer order then other one is with le that is intra company and last one with le and delivery and also along with sd billing that is cross company stock transfer order and in this only mm is involved and for this two type mmsd integration is there so out of that today we will cover without le stock transfer order okay so before that why we already seen that we have stock transfer we can do stock transfer using simple movement type from one plant to another plant then why we need stock transfer order so these are the few advantages that i know we can uh, we have over the normal transfer posting in stock transfer order so we can have a good receipt that can be planned in receiving plant then you can enter vendor that is freight vendor here vendor will be like uh, plant only but we can enter freight against it where in normal uh, plant uh, stock movement between plant to plant we cannot put this freight so we can put that in stock transfer order also we can define delivery cost in case any delivery cost involved in that also we can schedule this with mrp with the help of purchasing requisition and that we can later on convert that pr into the uh, sto so that is also where we can make a automated process in this case and lastly system can run an availability check also for stock uh, material availability using stock transfer orders so these are the advantages then few characteristic of uh, are there for stock transfer order so quantity posted from stock is first of all managed as a stock in transit so where we cannot see transit stock if we move that stock uh, using normal movement types but here we have option using certain transaction code we can see that transit stock as well let's say this plant are located at long distance and uh, where that uh, stock gonna be in transit for one or more days then we can see that transit stock as well the quantity is first posted in unrestricted use only so yeah always remember while moving stock transfer to stock transfer we can use quantity that is available in only unrestricted stock which our plant is sending that will be only unrestricted stock and also in receiving plant we can change it but yeah we can we can see that then you can enter delivery cost in stock transfer order that i have already covered in last one then the transfer posting is valued at valuation price of the material in issuing plant so note that it will not get valued as per the receiving plant data and lastly more important maybe many people don't know that using without daily stock transfer order we can perform 
if that plant is all belong to different company code then the transfer between plant is also is transfer between company code so most important we can do cross company also in without ali as well so i don't know if you many people know this but yeah we can do that and i will cover both for same company code and for different company code so in this case system create two accounting document when the goods issue is posted and the stock posting is offset against the company code uh, code clearing account so that we will see what all what all configuration required in this so we will see all this then there are few configuration that we need to check for sto without delivery so we will see that so first is we have to check whether this document type is assigned for ub so i will go in system so run t code spro then material management here under that purchasing then purchase order yeah and then define document type for purchase order here i am just confirming if your system is standard definitely ub will be there so we just have to check whether ub is maintained or not so ub is maintained for stock transfer and you can check allowed category must be u here that is nothing but stock transfer because for normal po you cannot select directly account category as a u if it's not a maintain here for that particular document types okay so if you are using purchase requisition with this you can do this configuration but necessarily not required because by default everything will be there so this is the one configuration then other most important configuration that must have maintained if you are doing stock transfer order without delivery that is with movement type 351 and 101 so we will see that what is that configuration so go on this path and check this set of for stock transfer order and there must not be any data for ub so i will go in that and i will show you that configuration so here if you go in purchase order then here set up stock transfer order on same path there is a different uh, just tab set up stock transfer order and in this check this configure delivery type and available availability check procedure by plant so go inside this and which plants you are using so in my case i am using plant 3001 sorry this is document type so i will put here document type ub and what is my plant 3001 so if you are doing stock transfer order without delivery that is with movement type 351 then this for this supplying plant it must be blank if it's not blank then system will not allow you to perform this stock transfer order so it must be blank or deleted either it should not maintain anything if sd is not involved at all so these two are important configuration okay then next so yeah these are the detail on broader level of all three stock transfer orders so out of that we are going to cover this one today stock transfer order without ad so our order type will be ub item category will be u then as sd is not involved so we will issue goods through the movement type 351 and in receiving plant we will do 101 so it's two step procedure so one step is not possible here so make sure that in sd nothing will appear as we are not using sd thing here then all these are like what all things are here so yeah cross company is possible delivery cost is possible we can check stock in transit also possible then we can do planning as well using purchase order so all these these two we going to cover in next two videos so today i'm just focus with stock transfer order without delivery with this scenario okay so we will see on broader level what exactly happens and how happens so stock transfer order without delivery so there will be two entities one is receiving plant and other one will be issuing plant so receiving plant will send and purchase order that will be the stock transfer order to the issuing plant so this material request some material or service mostly material through and purchase order then this plant will check available stock with them then 
they gonna issue that goods against this purchase order with the movement type 351 then that stock will be in transit that we can check with mb5t and once this stock received at destination then we can decide uh, goods received we can do goods receipt and we can decide where to put that stock either in unrestricted stock in quality inspection or block stock with 101 moment type so this is a pretty easy stock transfer order with 351 moment type and 101 it is a two step so we will see everything one by one so sto without without delivery process flow so we will see everything by process flow first there are some prerequisites so we must have material master in both plants so what i will do i will create one new material so run t code mm01 before that i will clear few things also what master data i'm gonna use so i'm gonna use company code triple zero one then this will be my purchase organization sales organization not required here at all then i will use plant these two plants triple zero one and triple zero two and storage location for both plant will be triple zero one then i will create material here so i will maintain material here you can create or you can use existing material as sd is not involved so no need of sd views here i'm just selecting basic views that basic data purchasing then general plan data storage location one and accounting one then i'm gonna create material for plant triple zero one and my storage location is also same sto test material no space special views or anything in this material master so it's pretty similar th that we use every time so i'm creating here material then i'm using standard system so all details will be normal nothing specific maintained here okay so i have created this material 2317592317529 this is my material i will also take note of it so this is my material oh sorry two three five one seven five nine okay then i'm gonna extend this material so again in mm01 just extend that material to other plants so my other plant is this then storage location is same then just just extend this material to other plant so this will be my receiving plant so i have extended this material to both plant no special view nothing so it's just normal then go so let's go into this then you have to create purchase order using document type ub in me21 n so i will go and i will create so run t code me21n in order to create purchase order then here it is important select so if you go here and try to select item category you you will not see here so that's why you have to go and change document type you can see if in your company it is allowed in document configuration but usually in standard you will not see so here i am selecting ub that is stock transfer order then here once you select here ub see here it will system will not ask you vendor however it will ask you supplying plant in my my case supplying plant will be triple zero one then purchasing organization of receiving plant so it is a triple zero one then company code is also a triple zero one then what is the material so i have created material where is that yeah this will be the my material 
then how much quantity let's say i need 20 quantity then delivery date then receiving plant here so my receiving plant is because this plant is creating purchase order just vendor will be supplying plant rest all details will be relevant to the receiving plant so to be specific just this one will be instead of vendor we're gonna put supplying plant that's it everything will be for receiving plant so i have maintained everything here no need to check anything so we can check so no major issue all are warning so i'm just gonna save this so this is my purchase order i will copy that and i will take it for my reference okay then once we have purchase order so now we consider that from plant 0002 plant 0001 received and purchase order and now they wanted to issue goods to the plant 0002 before that we must check that stock in mmbe so here check stock in mmbe before issuing because we can issue only if we have stock so let's as i have just created material so definitely i do not have stock so i will check in mmbe this is my material so see here you cannot see stock in unrestricted however there is on order stock so what i will do i will create manually stock for just test purpose with moment type 561 but in your case if it is a real scenario then there must be stock or you have to receive or produce that stock it's depend like whether your company is your plant is producing that stock or they are taking from outside so it's completely depend this is the material then how much quantity i need this so i will take a stock of 100 maybe we're gonna test one more scenario so that's why i'm taking it 100 triple zero one and storage location is also triple zero one okay all right just check and post i'm just create uh, maintaining initial stock for test in your case it's depend completely so i have maintained stock now go into mmb and check here so i will refresh so here it should be now 100 in this plant triple zero one and storage location is also triple zero one so i have now 100 stock and 20 stock is on order now go in me me go and do goods issue so we have checked this now we will do goods issue so goods issue using movement type 351 from supplying plant to receiving plant so against purchase purchase order so purchase order is important here so this is my purchase order now go in me go then here it must be good issue against purchase order and movement type system will take automatically if not then check this movement type 351 and provide your purchase order number okay so this is my purchase order number now how much quantity 20 so system bought that automatically from purchase order where so this will be your supplying plant that is triple zero one because this plant is now issuing plant or sending plant and story location also mentioned then this is the purchase order and what type of document it so stock transfer that type will appear here and then you can see everything all details here so this will be the receiving plants detail then check and save if no issue there so no issue so save it now this document is posted so now we can check in mmb what is the status 
so nothing will change their stock will get reduced so see now this 80 stock has been reduced to sorry 100 stock reduced to 80 because 20 is on order and that is transferred already but here you cannot see that stock to check that stock there is different t code where we can check stock in transit with t code mb5t put that give material here if you want to check for specific plant or combination you can put here but in my case that's fine i, I have only this material maintained for cup two plants so i will not put plant and i will directly check on order stock so here i can see there is on order stock against this purchase order line item 10 this 20 item in transit so here you can see this plant will receive this stock okay and this is the supplying plant and this is the receiving plant and quantity is 20 okay so here are all details material and all but yeah you can check this if you want to check detail you can click here and you can check again all details so supplying plant is this this document number what all things are here maintained okay okay so we have checked supplying plant and also we have checked stock in transit now important goods received in a receiving plant so what we will do we will turn again migo t code now change this to goods received same purchase order will be here then same purchase order number moment type will be triple zero one make sure here nothing is maintained so press enter so system bought all details now click that out of 20 how much i am receiving so 10 quantity where i want to receive so what is storage location that is already maintained then here i can decide where i want to put in quality inspection or blocked or anything so that we have seen here in previous slide so here we have option where to put this stock okay okay so we will do goods received in receiving plant so check i have provided all details oh i have maintained wrong unit so here it's ea okay yeah so check no issue then post or save so i have saved this document now go in mmb and check the status detail just to refresh this in mmb so we can see now stock 20 has been received in plant triple zero two so this is a pretty straightforward sto no major hustles it's pretty straightforward that we have seen sto without delivery for same company code now we will see sto without delivery for different company code how we can do that so we will see that now so procedure for moving stock across company will be same but there are few configuration from finance or fi side so now what i will do i will create another sto for cross company and that scenario what we will do i will consider one more company code here so this material will be same i am no not interested in this purchase order okay so yeah, this will be my material okay so what i will do i will transfer stock from company code triple zero one to company code one zero one under plant one zero triple zero one from this plant to this plant one zero one zero so we will do in system it will be pretty same but few configuration are required so note that it is completely possible we can transfer stock from one plant to another plant even though it's a cross company using stock transfer order without delivery so i'm creating sto with me21n as sorry i have to extend material as well as i haven't extended it to uh plant 1010 so i will extend that material to plant 1010 and storage location will be the same triple zero one 
it's depend on your uh, org structure but in my case storage location is same so i am just extending this material same material to another plant okay so now i have extended that material then i as i have extended material now in both plants so now i will create again stock transfer order in me21 and it will be same so my supplying plant will be this but now receiving plant is different so i will put a detail of all about receiving plant and here most important will be ub that is a stock transfer order so my supplying plant is triple zero one however this will be the detail of receiving plant so this is my material then here i will take example of let's say 15 quantity each then my receiving plant is this and storage location is this okay then just check so no issue then save it so this is the my purchase order so i will just take a note of that purchase order so now we are doing the stock transfer order for cross company then before doing that there are some configuration that we must check so we have to create one customer master data for both company code in my case i have already created so i will use the same so i will just show you that customer so yeah it's hana so it will be in bp then I will show that customer what all details I have maintained. So this is just general data I have maintained. Then if I go into customer accounting. So here if I go in company code. So I have maintained here data for two company codes. That is 0001 and 1010. So both company code I have maintained same details nothing different then also for customer view so sales org and all that detail so i have maintained here so if i go here i can see i have maintained this customer master for both company code okay so in your case if it is a real then uh, you have to discuss with hd people how you're gonna maintain this but i'm showing here how we can do that so once you maintain customer master there is one t code where we have to maintain that is again finance one so finance people will do that that t code is obya so where we can maintain cross company stock transfer details so here my company code first is triple zero one and second is one zero one so here i have maintained these four things so debit posting key account debit so this account debit you have to select any it doesn't matter i mean any account from the list sorry it is a customer master so, sorry i have i'm just confused six three yeah it is a customer master so you have to provide this customer detail uh, as i have maintained this customer for both company code same so i have maintained same here but in your case if uh, i mean if it's a real you have to ask with sd people how you're going to maintain this and also this accounting keys with uh, your uh, finance team so once you maintain this in obya system will allow you to post it so it is nothing but clearing account automatic posting clearing account so that you have to deal with finance team but for test i have maintained this once you maintain this system will allow cross company stock transfer orders as well so i have created po now what i will do i will do goods issue so this is my purchase order before doing goods issue mmb i know i have already created 100 quantity of this material so i do have stock so i have still 80 80 stock in plant one and for plant and company code 1010 15 is only on order nothing stock is here so i will do migo and goods issue for plant 1010 so here goods issue 
against purchase order this is my purchase order and movement type will be 5 351 then item okay so this is material just checking if all details are maintained okay so everything is fine i have just provided storage location and item okay then check so it's okay save it so this document is posted now we can go in mb5t and we can check stock in transit so now it will be 15 from this plant to this plant under this purchase order and this is my material so we can go and we can check then i will go in migo and i will do goods receipt for plant 1010 against same purchase order then how much quantity so here 15 quantity and my unit of measure item okay then check all detail whether everything is maintained yes okay then check and post so now i have posted this document now go in mmb and check stock so now this 15 should appear here from on order stock to unrestricted stock so here so this is how we can do stock transfer order without delivery for different company codes as well using two step movement that is 351 and 101 then this is it for this video so what we have seen so we have seen uh, STO without delivery so there are steps where we create and extend material for both supplying and receiving plant then we create STO or stock transfer purchase order under ME21N using document type UB then there are two configuration need to check that I have shown then we do goods issue from supplying plant with movement type 351 under MIGO then we check stock in transit with MB5T and here by mistakenly I have put ME9M it should be MIGO so again we do goods received with me go under 101 movement type then for this scenario we have checked two different types so one is for same company code and other one is for different company code then here we can see best practices for this so sto that we can see on this link i will put this link for sto best practices in comment section or in video description so that's it for this, this video hope you liked it thank you for watching and share your comments and opinion about this video also if you have any question please put it in comment section I, and I will try to answer all of them thank you for watching see you in the next video in next video we will see stock transfer order intra and cross company so thank you bye for now